so glad you could join me again here on another episode of Portia at Home. If this is your first time on my YouTube channel, hello, 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 I am Portia and I am an owner of an all-day breakfast and brunch restaurant called Rustic Mornings. So you know, we are celebrating our seventh year anniversary. And I just want to thank you for all of you guys who went to come visit me, celebrated with us. And you know, I have been a witness to so many marriage proposals, wedding anniversaries, even breakups, and diamond and golding anniversaries. Madami na talaga. But from the bottom of my heart, I just want to thank you for making Rustic Mornings a part of your lives. So I think this is a perfect time for me to share this recipe that will be part of your family celebrations and traditions. And I know each family has a spaghetti recipe that we all grew up loving. Diba yung gawa ng lola at ng mama natin? And what I will be teaching you today is a little bit of my lolas, a little bit of my mom's, and a lot of mine. Because this is a recipe that I want to share to my children as I start my own family. And this recipe I will call my family spaghetti. Okay, first things first. Don't be shocked that I have a big pot right in front of me. Napakalaking kawali. Because you know, when I make spaghetti, I don't just make for our family of five. I make for the entire clan. Because spaghetti is meant to be cooked when you're celebrating something, right? So, please don't judge me. Okay, so, simulan natin. I have a deep bottom pan. Now, my recipe is good for 25 people. That's why yung production team, everybody, I just said, magdala kayo ng Tupperware. O, di ba? Ilan lang naman kami, walo lang kami, but no, good for 25 people. So, when you follow my recipe, tansya-tansyahin nyo na lang. Alright? Okay, so, I have my deep bottom pan. Huge deep bottom pan. So, I am gonna pour my olive oil. Okay? A little generous. And then I have here my ground beef. So, with a little bit of fat. Okay? So, this is about 1.3 kilos. So, what I'm gonna do here, simutin lang natin ha. You know me, I am the tita of pagsisimot. I don't like wasting anything. Okay, so I hope you can still hear me, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook our beef. We're gonna let the oil render. Palalabasin natin ang mantika niya and palulutuin natin siya sa sarili niyang mantika. And then, babalikan ko kayo ulit. Alright, so as you can see here, nag-brown na yung meat natin. And, wala ka nang makikitang oil niyang sarili at the bottom of this pan. So, what I'm gonna do, because tinatamad na akong tanggalin yung meat natin, I will just park my meat on one side of our pot. Alright? So, park ko lang dyan. Okay, I'll just clean this up a bit. And then, I'm gonna add a little bit more of our olive oil. Let's add. And then, I'm gonna start cooking our garlic and our onion. So, again, maraming garlic. There is no limit. I think adding more garlic will actually make your spaghetti taste a lot better. Diba? So, we're gonna cook our garlic. And then next, we're gonna add our onion. So, ako naman, I use the red onion because one, it's sweeter and it's more flavorful also. So, one whole. So you can just imagine, I think I used about two whole large onions for this one. Okay? Alright. Hawiin lang natin ang hair natin ng konti. Alright, konti arte tayo, di ba? Okay, so we're gonna start cooking this until your onion turns translucent. Alright. Mix that. Ang bango. I can add a little bit more of our olive oil. Just to moisten this a bit. Don't worry about olive oil. It's olive oil. It's a healthy kind of oil. So don't worry about it. Okay, so we continue cooking this. Alright. And now it's time to combine our meat and our onion. As we continue cooking it all together. Sambango. Talagang alam mo, kailangan mo dito ng muscle eh. No? Kailangan talaga. And mind you guys, 
tiptoe ako ha kasi ang laki talaga ng kaldero ko. You know, if I had the budget, syempre gusto ko yung le set talaga na malaki, di ba? Pero, sakit sa pulsa. Dito na lang tayo sa matibay-tibay na stainless steel. <laughs> Alright. Next time, you know, I will give you tips on where to buy your kitchenware. Nako, binabiyahe talaga namin yan sa Kiapo. And everything's there. Everything that you find in the department store, it's all there. So, yan ang secret namin mga restaurateurs. All right, so our meat is ready, our onion and our garlic, they're cooked. Now it's time to add our chorizo. So guys, you know, I really believe that the best spaghetti is the spaghetti that we all grew up with. Na niluto ng mom natin, right? So here today, I am encouraging you to actually go to your mom, ask for the recipe, and really learn it. So this is something that you can pass on to your children. So it's really up to you if you want to follow my recipe or you want to you memorize yung talaga or talagang write it down yung recipe ng mom nyo so that you can pass it on to your children. Diba? So, so that's one extender that we added. Now I'm gonna add, of course, my hot dog. The Philippine spaghetti. Hindi po pwedeng walang hot dog. Diba? So again, when you ask for the recipe from your mom or your lola, you also ask what kind of brand yung ginagamit nila. Para naman talagang kopyang, kopyang, kopya ninyo. Diba? Ako kasi parang, you know, before I was able to create my own version of the spaghetti, I really had to ask my aunt and my mom and my cousin. And alam mo, iba-iba din ang version nila. So, for me, of course, I got the best of the best and combined it all together and created my own spaghetti. And mapapansin nyo, ang meaty-meaty ng spaghetti ko, di ba? Ang daming laman, hindi ko kayo tinitipid. Kaya naman talagang madami atang dalang Tupperware ang mga kasama ko. <laughs> so, for sa at home, dami pa kayo dalang Tupperware. <laughs> Imagine mo naman, no? Hindi rin kakasya sa ref ko yan. Alright, sige. Okay, so we have our meat in there, the chorizo, and of course, your hot dog. Now, what is next? Guys. Gabundok of green and bell pepper. So, masarap yan. I put a lot of this. No other recipes, they add carrots, di ba? So, kanya-kanya lang talagang version yan. So again, sisimutin ko to. Alright. So my spaghetti, as you can see, it's so colorful and festive. Diba? So ano, naalala nyo na bang spaghetti ng mom and lola nyo? Diba? Ang sarap-sarap i-reminis. You know kami, when my lola would cook spaghetti, walang absent. You know, she has 10 children. And how many grandchildren? And every time she would call our parents, so parang, oh, I'm making spaghetti. Maniwala kayo walang absent. So I think itong kalan na to, kung hindi niya ata to pinamana sa amin, mas malaki pa yung sa kanya. Because she feeds about what? 50 of us? Ganun karami. Pero wala na nagdadala ng Tupperware sa amin kasi nauubos talaga. <laughs> Alright, so... Nakapagod tong ginagawa ko, ha? <laughs> this is all for the love of Portia at home. Para naman matikman nila. Diba? Talagang spaghetti, diba? It's, you really feel the love from your mom. And every time you request for the spaghetti, she would gladly make it for you. Kasi it's really a comfort food na feeling ko walang makakapantay. Diba? Yung luto ng mom mong spaghetti. Ay, nako. Ang dami-dami naming memories dyan. Okay, so next. What is next? Tomato paste. Okay, so tomato paste, I drop it in para at least matunaw siya together with our meat. Okay. You know, the tomato paste will actually make your dish taste richer. So, gusto natin yan, di ba? So, again, simot. Okay, simot, simot, simot. Alright. And then I mix it again together with everything in here. 
Para naman talagang covered na covered siya. Alright. Okay. And then, of course, we're going to start adding our tomato sauce. Now, hulaan nyo na lang kung ilang tomato sauce ang ilalagay ko. Hindi, <laughs> joke lang. So, definitely a lot. I know, alam nyo kung paano gumami, gumawa ng spaghetti sauce. And I'm sure, kayang-kaya nyong tansyahin yan. Alright? Of course, I will share with you how many tomato sauce I put in here. So, I use four large packs of tomato sauce. So, ito na yung itsura niya. And now, it is time to add a little bit of soy sauce. So, I add soy sauce because, one, it changes the color. It's not so red, di ba? And, iba din yung lasang nabibigay ng soy sauce. Okay, so we're just gonna mix that. Just a little bit of soy sauce, okay? And then next, of course, Filipino spaghetti is the sweet kind of spaghetti, right? So, lahat tayo lumake sa sweet spaghetti. So, now, I'm gonna add my brown sugar. Now, it really depends on you how sweet you want it. Ako naman, I want a balance of sweetness and asim, di ba? You know, I even know someone who uses condensed milk. But ako, okay na ako sa brown sugar. O, di ba? Alam ko si... Yung fast food natin favorite, alam ko condensed milk ata gamit ni, eh. Di ba? Mmm! <gasps> Ang mga mukha, o. Oh, talaga? Ganun ang mga itsura. <laughs> Nashock kayo? But I think so, ha? Hindi lang ako sure. Pero may nagbali-balita sa akin. Condensed milk daw yan. Okay, so of course, we want to make our spaghetti smell good. So, never forget to add your laurel leaves. So, for my big pot that is good for 25 people, I'm adding about 7 laurel leaves. Alright. Ah, diba? Para naman akong tamang-tama ata sa Halloween tong ginagawa ko. <laughs> Para ako witch, you know? Hmm. Ako, kung sino kukulamin ko. Alright. Next, I'm gonna season this. So, I think my spaghetti is like a combination of Filipino and Italian. But it favors more on the sweeter side, but not so much. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add about 3 tablespoons of Italian seasoning. So, if you watched my episodes before, if you don't have Italian seasoning, you know, it could be a combination of different herbs. You have your thyme, oregano, rosemary, basil. Pelian. Alright? So... So, mix this together with your Italian seasoning. Okay. And then, the last one, I'm gonna add, well, not the last one. Second, ito na naman ako sa the last one eh. Palagi na lang. I'm gonna add my mushroom. Okay. So, this is just canned mushroom. Sliced. Alright. Just add that all in. Okay. If you wanna add more mushrooms, go ahead. Kasi parang... It makes your spaghetti even meatier, di ba? Madami sa hog. Of course, syempre, because your spaghetti is already meaty, talaga namang full pack ng meat, I want it also to taste even meatier. So, we're gonna add some beef cubes para lang talaga namang karning karne siya. Okay? So, I'm just gonna stir this and let the beef cube dilute together with our sauce. Now, if you think your sauce is too thick, like this one, okay, you can always dilute it with beef stock. Now, I don't really suggest using just water, okay? Kasi syempre, again, when you use water, you also dilute the flavor. And you don't like that, diba? So, beef stock. If you don't have beef stock, chicken stock will do. Okay. And then, you just let your eyes decide. Diba? Is this thick enough? Or is this, you know, malab now enough? Kailangan ko pa bang dagdagan pa? So, ako, I think, dadagdagan ko pa ng konti. Ayan. That's it. And then later, pag pinasimmer natin to, you can again add some more beef stock. But, before I close my lid, and before we let this simmer and continue to cook, I am going to add my chopped fresh parsley. Okay? So, I'm going to add a lot because, again, parsley adds flavor to your spaghetti. But I will leave some because topping natin later. So, you got your parsley. 
This is really a fully loaded spaghetti, and that is why everybody loves this in the family. And I'm pretty sure when I have my own family already, my child, children will love this also. And, kaya ako naman tagad nilalagay ito sa YouTube ngayon. It's para na, na nights out there. So, if ever tumanda ako and I forget the recipe, anak, hanapin mo na sa YouTube. Pati in 20 years in the future, Mommy, what's YouTube? Oh my gosh, maka obsolete na YouTube. May YouTube pa kaya in 20 years? Diba? Tingin nyo. I think meron pa. So, mommy, that's so obsolete. You too. What's that? Tanda na, no? In 20 years. <laughs> so, ko na, it's in the cloud. Find it in the cloud. Alright, so, this is good, guys. I'm gonna cover this with my lid. Let it simmer. Hayaan natin mag-intensify yung flavor ng sauce natin. And then, it's spaghetti time. All right, it's the moment of truth because lahat kami gutom na. Whoa, sarap! Look at how meaty that is oh, with all the hot dogs. Oh, diba? Okay, so I'm just going to stir this a little bit more. And then it's time to turn off our flame. All right? Ganun lang kadali. It may seem hard to cook for 25 people, but you know what? If you have the right tools, madaling madali lang. So... Let's start plating. Okay, siyempre, if you make spaghetti sauce that is good for 25 people, you also have to prepare spaghetti noodles that is good for 25 people. But siyempre, ako muna kakain. Alright, so, I have here my cooked noodles. I did this in advance already. So, I have here my plate. And then, excited ako. I always get excited when I have our spaghetti. I'm gonna want all my hot dogs in here. And the sauce. Iba, napaka saucy nyo. Whew! Alright. And you know what also? Because we are a family who love garlic. So I made toasted garlic also. So again, another layer of flavor. So I put that on top. And then of course, our chopped fresh parsley. And we never forget our parmesan cheese. Adiba? At wala akong tinidor. <laughs> Sandali lang. Sandali lang. Ayan, aking tinidor. Bon appetit. Ang sarap nito. Look at that. Oh. So, depende sa inyo if you want your sauce to be medyo malap now or if you want it ng malapot na malapot. You want it thick and saucy. Depends sa inyo. Alright. So, a little bit of our noodles. A little bit of our meat. A lot of our sauce. Ine, natatakot ako, pero excited, excited ako. Mm. Ah, this is the kind of spaghetti that I myself enjoy, and I'm pretty sure my children will enjoy. Never ko talaga pinagsasawa at to spaghetti na to. So, I'm so glad I'll be able to create this tradition with my starting family. Adiba? So, yeah. Ang sarap! Alam nyo, ang pinaka natutuwa ko is because, of course, syempre, my mom's not able to cook her own version of spaghetti anymore. But I'm so glad that she's enjoying my version of spaghetti. And this is something that we can all enjoy together. It's a new tradition. It's a new spaghetti. And I'm sure she will love this, enjoying this with all her apos. O, diba? So, guys, thank you so much. I really encourage you to ask for your mom's spaghetti recipe. You know, kung meron lang talagang world or Pinoy spaghetti day, you know, where everybody just cooks their own version of spaghetti that we all grew up with. Napakasaya siguro nung araw na yun, diba? Just to reminisce all the memories with your plate of spaghetti. So, guys, if you enjoyed this video that I shared with you, Please don't forget to like, to subscribe, and to click that bell button. And if you have any comments or suggestions na recipes na gusto nyo gawin ko, please just comment below. So, see you guys again on our next episode.